Okay, so good evening, class. Uh, today we will start with a new subject that is Indian financial system. So this subject is only uh, applicable for honor students. Uh, general students do not have this subject. So we'll talk about financial system. We'll talk about different things. But before starting, let me just talk about the books. Okay, so you can purchase. The book from Oxford, okay, Indian Financial System. This is one book, okay, written by Sujatra Bhattacharya. You have another book that you could purchase that is uh, Joy Dev Sharkhil. It's from Magro Hill, okay. Uh, next, there is another book uh, which is, uh, I guess, that is wait. Uh, Sana okay there is another book uh, Sana Nayak you can purchase that book also any book you can purchase any book okay uh, now the thing is that this subject is a theory paper and first and second semester you all have just done what MCQs and practical papers but now from third semester onwards and also in fifth semester you will have a theory paper now what is this theory paper theory paper means that we have already done in school days we have to write big big answers 10 marks 5 marks that's okay so fine in this indian financial system also you have to write big answers it's not an mcq paper it's a theory paper clear now i will provide you notes of my topic i will provide you notes but that note will not be sufficient to answer a 10 marks question and it's not possible for me to just write down or type such big big answers so what you will do you have to write down these answers on your own you have to write down these answers on your own so it will be beneficial for you when during the exam time now if it is an online examination then it's fine I know you, uh, you all will be having the books open and you will write, fine. But if it's not online and if it's an offline examination by chance, then that copy will be helpful for you during that time. So it's better to write down. And the thing is what you know, you all have given MCQ papers for continuously one year. Okay, you have done, you have, you do, you have just missed out the way to write, you have forget, you have totally forget and I know that and you will understand this while answering this paper. to write big answers. But in school days, 11, 12, we have written big, big answers, no doubt about it. So what practice is very much necessary for this paper? To complete this paper within the time given right so what you all have to do is that you all have to answer the questions by your own take a question write down what are the points necessary what are the sub points necessary and frame an answer now you can ask me ma'am then how will I understand whether this answer is correct or not the answer will be of definitely correct but there might be a problem that how much to write what to write in that answer so you can send me PDFs I will check it my portion actually whatever is my portion I will check it I don't have any problem but you all have to write it on your own I cannot give you big big notes and big big answers it's not possible right so this is what I needed to say now what is my portion so my portion is capital market my portion is capital market and next is money market one is capital market what is money market so I will start with capital market I will start with capital market and then I will do money market because money market is a smaller portion but capital market is a bigger one it's a huge so capital market is huge so I will try to, uh, I will try 
to cover up each and every topic that is necessary okay uh in my previous term also i have given almost 30 classes i guess on this capital market only this capital market okay so let's see how many classes you all need to complete this capital market okay so now before starting capital market or money market whatever it is let's just know about the financial system what is financial system and uh, previous term students also had a problem to understand what what is happening because one teacher is teaching something another teacher is teaching something so i will give you an overview first of all so that you get to know about the subject and then we will start with my portion that is capital market okay so first let me tell you that what is financial system What is financial system? ये जीनिश टकी. What is financial system? Financial system बाप टकी. Okay, Bengali students, you all can purchase book in Bengali version, version, and you all can write. Okay. So what is financial system? Let me talk about financial system first. Now this financial system has come from two terms. One is finance, and I guess have one is finance and another is system. Now let me talk about finance and let me talk about system. Now what is finance? Now finance is finance means flow of fund. Finance means what? It means flow of fund from the surplus side to the deficit side. now what is finance finance means flow of fund from the surplus side to the deficit side now what is surplus side and what is deficit side suppose our parents you have seen that our parents save money we have fixed deposits we have savings in banks why why do we save money because it is the excess portion left after making all the expenditures right amra savings kokhon korte pari amader savings ta kokhon hoy possible kokhon hoy jokhon amader kache kichu excess money pore thake after making all my expenditures tai na amader joto expenditures korar por je tukuni savings pore thake जेटुक टाक लेफ्ट ओवर था टाटाई तो सेव करी बैंके फिक्स डिपोजिट खुली तै तो सो उ बिलंग टू उच सेक्टर उ बिलंग टू उच सैड उ बिलंग टू द सरप्लस सैड दैन व्हाट इज द डेफिसिट सैड द पर्सनस हू नीड दैट मनी इज द डेफिसिट सैड रईट द पर्सनस हू नीड दैट मनी इज द डेफिसिट सैड ना हू आर द पर्सनस हू नीड दैट मनी there may be organization who need such money as capital for investing in something correct they are the persons like banks they are the persons who need the money why bank need the money banks need the money to carry out their own work so own work means what now bank will take our money and bank will not keep that money idle bank will utilize that money to give loan to other persons or the organization or make any other investments so the entire process is what it's a circle it's happening money is flowing from the surplus side to the deficit side and it is being utilized and that's why we get interest right amra ki boli taka jodi barite thake kono lab na टाका जो बैंके रखी वी उल गेट अ सार्टन अमाउंट अफ इंटरेस्ट वाई वी आर गेटिंग दैट इंटरेस्ट वाई बैंक इज प्रोवाइडिंग आस वि इंटरेस्ट एम एम क्यों की टाक दे नो बिकज दैट मानी इज इज व्हाट बैंक इज यूजिंग फॉर इट्स ओन पर्पज एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज द बैंक इज गिविंग यू एन इंटरेस्ट करेक्ट सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज फिनेंस वेन फंड फ्लोज फ्रॉम वन साइड टू दि अदर साइड दैट इज वॉट from the surplus side to the deficit side so who are the surplus side the persons who could save money who have savings 
so they are having excess money they are having surplus money this surplus money money is utilized by whom by the deficit side is it clear by the deficit side now what is system system means set of interconnected parts which functions together in a particular manner to fulfill some objective what there are some interconnected part there are some sets of interconnected part working together to fulfill some objective working together to fulfill some objective or we can say set of interconnected activities working together to fulfill some objective so this is system and this is finance and now when we combine this both finance and system what we get is financial system now what is financial system now if i ask you all financial system means what set of activities which facilitates transfer of set of activities which helps in the transfer of financial resources from the savers to the borrowers now who are the savers the person who are saving that is a surplus side and the person who are borrowing is the deficit side so or we can set say set of interconnected activities which helps in the transfer of fund from the surplus side to the deficit side so surplus side means what surplus side means savers and deficit side means what they means the borrowers correct so this is financial system nothing it's a set of activities which facilitates the flow of fund from the deficit side from the surplus side to the deficit side the surplus side means what the persons who are saving that is the savers and the deficit means the persons who are borrowing that is the borrowers correct so this is financial system that we are talking about and that is an entire subject that we will be studying in this semester and we will talk about financial system of what of india of course of india okay now this financial system now this subject will be taught by many teachers i will be teaching the capital market portion the money market portion okay now this financial system have uh, components this financial system is divided into components now what are the components get to know that first one is what financial institution first one is what first component is financial institution next component that will come next component that will come is financial market the third component that will come under this is financial assets and the fourth component that will come at the financial services so this chapter is divided mainly into four parts means this subject is divided into four parts one professor will teach you financial institution and details one professor that is i myself will teach you the financial market portion that is capital and money market another professor will teach you financial asset and another professor will teach you financial services so there is nothing confusing about it the entire financial system is divided into four components and this four components will be taught by several teachers the first component being financial institution second being financial market third being financial asset and fourth being financial services financial institutions means what financial institutions mean the banking institutions okay the idbi the non banking institutions other institutions like uh, sebi all these are institutions which will manage this entire financial market which will create a link between the borrowers and the savers right which will help in allocating the pooled funds pooled funds means the funds that have been pooled that have been saved by the savers so that those pooled funds can be used in a more effective manner correct pool of funds pool of funds okay 
so this financial institution act as what act as a bridge between the borrowers and the savers correct next financial market there are two types of financial market one is the organized market another one is the unorganized market now under organized market you get what of course money market and capital market money market and capital market and under unorganized market means what organized means what there are rules and regulations and unorganized means what there are no rules and regulations there are no rules and regulations so who are the unorganized money market unorganized market portion unorganized market portion means when we take loan uh, from money lenders they are the unorganized portion this money lenders are not being uh, ruled or by the sebi or any other institution they are providing loan on their own will like gramer dike jokhon amra taka jokhon chashira taka dhan nay dekhi tara local money lenders er kach theke taka dhan nay why because those people are not that educated tara bhoy pay bank e jete but as days are changing they are also learning all this এবার কি হয় লোকাল যারা মানি ল্যান্ডার্স তাদেরকে তো সেবি রুলস অ্যান্ড রেগুলেশনস দিয়ে আটকাতে পারবে না বিকজ দে আর প্রোভাইডিং মানি অন দে ওন উইল দে আর নট রেজিস্টার্ড মানি ল্যান্ডার্স দে দে ডাজ নট ফল আন্ডার দ্য অর্গানাইজ স্ট্রাকচার ওনলি সো দে কুড চার্জ আ হিউজ অ্যামাউন্ট অফ ইন্টারেস্ট অ্যান্ড ফর দিস রিজন ফর দিস রিজন দ্য ফার্মার্স বিকমস বোর্ডেন্ট উইথ loan and loan they become burden because they are they become uh, they becomes it becomes impossible for them to give that high rate of interest to the local money lenders they become burdened they becomes burdened with loan and loan this is the reason so this local money lenders is a portion of the unorganized sector so this class will be a little boring i'm so sorry i can't make this interesting anyhow but you need to know the basic thing so that we could shift to capital market okay okay and next comes financial assets so what are the financial assets financial assets means the debentures the debt the shares the bank deposits the mutual funds these are the financial assets and what are the financial service there are fee based services there are fund based services then financial services is divided into what fee based and fund based services fee based services are the advisory services and fund based services are the asset based services so whichever teacher will teach you this portion will teach you what we mean by the fee based services and the fund based services okay so my portion is what this financial market now we will start with what which portion capital market today we will start with which portion capital market we'll just start we'll just start with capital market so uh, i will be giving you notes on this and my notes the first thing that is given is what what is capital market and the first thing given is what is what is capital market now okay what is capital market capital market is a highly regulated and well organized market which supplies long term capital now the basic difference between money market and capital market and which is a very favorite question of see what are the difference between the uh, money market and capital market that i will teach you later on after you know money market so first let me tell you the basic difference between money market and capital market so money market helps us raising short term funds okay short term capital and whereas capital market helps us raising long term funds long term capital so the basic difference ki money market e jodi ami money market theke ami short term capital raise korte parbo jeta ami short period of time e use korte parbo বাট ক্যাপিটাল মার্কেটে আমি লং টার্ম ফান্ড রেস করতে পারবো যেটা আমি লং পিরিয়ডের জন্য ইউজ করতে পারবো ইজ ইট ক্লিয়ার সো দিস ইজ দ্য ফার্স্ট বেসিক ডিফারেন্স বিটুইন মানি মার্কেট অ্যান্ড ক্যাপিটাল মার্কেট না হোয়াট ইজ ক্যাপিটাল মার্কেট ক্যাপিটাল মার্কেট মানে হচ্ছে ইটস আ হাইলি রেগুলেটেড মার্কেট 
इट्स अ वेल ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट उच सप्लाइज वट लंग टर्म कैपिटल कदर के सप्लाई कर जर डेफिसिट आज जमन ट्रेड जमन इंडस्ट्री कमार्स जर डेफिसिट आज तक सप्लाई कर सो इट्स अ हाईलि रेगुलेटेड मार्केट बिकज लंग टर्म कैपिटल प्रोवाइड कर रेगुलेशन तो दरकार रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन जो ना थे तक तक ही तो कैपिटल मार्केट और बोलते पर तक तो अनऑर्गानाइज मार्केट हो जाए जमन लोकल मानी लैंडार्स त सो कैपिटल मार्केट हे वेल रेगुलेटेड मार्केट एंड वेल अर्गानाइज मार्केट सो व्हाट आर द फांगशन अफ कैपिटल मार्केट लेट मी जस्ट स्टार्ट उथ द फांगशन अफ कैपिटल मार्केट सो व्हाट आर द फांगशन अफ कैपिटल मार्केट द फांगशन अफ कैपिटल मार्केट इज नम्बर वन फांगशन एंड देट इज अ प्राइमरि फांगशन इज व्हाट सप्लाई अफ लंग टर्म कैपिटल सप्लाई अफ लंग टर्म कैपिटल सो अफकोर्स दिस इज द प्राइमरि फांगशन we are supplying long term capitals so this market is an intermediary this market is a bridge between whom between the surplus sector and between the deficit sector okay this surplus the savers comes here to invest money and this deficit means the what the borrowers comes here to take loan and this market act as what a bridge between the borrowers and the savers correct this market area act as a bridge so first is what capital market supplies long term capital it's not a short term capital it supplies long term capital next number 2 it provides a ready market where shares and debentures could be traded now we have talked about shares debentures we all know what is shares we all know what is debentures so for trading the shares and debentures trading means what for buying and for purchasing and selling of the shares and debentures where does this purchase takes place in this capital market because it provides a platform when persons when we normal individual purchases shares that means what we have excess money that we are investing and the company is using that amount for its own purpose it could be any purpose so this capital market provides that platform for buying and selling of what shares debentures correct so first is what supply of long term loan second is what buying and selling which provides a ready market for the buying and selling or for the actual and the perfect word is trading of shares and debentures correct so see atto khun joto discussion kortam korlam shei ta jodi ami eta khatay sundor bhabe likhi sorry shei ta jodi ami eta khatay sundor bhabe likhi tahole ei puro ta ekta kintu answer hoye jay what do you mean by capital market बा व्हाट डू मीन बाय फिनान्सियल सिसटेम ओके तेल एक पुरो एक आंसर हो जाए खूब सुंदर इट एक्ट द वेरि इम्पर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो एर मध्य ही बल्लम डिफरेंस विटुईन मानी मार्केट एंड कैपिटल मार्केट नेक्स्ट एक्ट क्वेश्चन बल्लम व्हाट डू मिन बै फिनान्सियल सिसटेम एंड व्हाट आर द कम्पोनेंट्स अफ दि फिनान्सियल सिसटेम एट फार्स चैप्टर थे क्वेश्चन आसि ना लेट मे टेल यू इफ यू गाइज आर थिंकिंग दैट आई उल लिव कैपिटल मार्केट पोर्सन दैन इट इज अ वेरि wrong decision because from capital market maximum marks comes okay and if it's an online exam there is no question of leaving anything but if it's an offline exam and you have to learn then please do not leave anything just try to answer each and every questions each and every question whatever you could write just write it do not leave any question this is the strategy for a theory paper never leave any question okay so that you at least could score at least 2 marks out of 5 or 1 marks out of 5 that is also necessary but if you leave the entire question you will get a big zero so never leave any question try to learn everything or at least keep in mind learning is not possible try to keep in mind the facts the answers try to keep in mind so that you could make sentences by your own self okay so 
we have started with what functions of capital market the first one was supply of long term capital second one was what it provides a ready market for trading of shares and debentures the third one the third one is what it helps in capital formation by providing investment opportunities to the investors of course it is helping in capital formation so what is how it is helping in capital formation how it is helping in capital formation the surplus whenever the surplus sector is getting an opportunity to invest they are investing and whenever they are investing the deficit sector is getting the capital from those investments so it is helping in capital formation only right capital formation for whom for this deficit sectors this is being used as a capital by the deficit sectors a long term capital by the deficit sectors to fulfill their own purpose so supply of long term capital it provides it helps in capital formation it help provides a ready market for trading of shares and debentures and the fourth point is what that a capital market is regulated by sebi of course securities exchange board of india sebi regulates the rules and regulations of sebi is to be followed by the capital market because why because it's an organized market it falls under the which category that i told you already it falls under the organized category not on the not under the unorganized category so four points or four functions that we get is what supply of long term capital establishing a ready market for trading of shares and debentures number 2 number 3 it helps in capital formation by providing opportunities for the investors to invest and it's regulated by sebi okay and it provides and number 5 is what it provides investment opportunities not only to small investors or big investors it provides investment opportunities to both small and big investors it's not that we are providing opportunities only to big investors or we are providing opportunities only to small investors no if you are having 10000 rupees also you get an opportunity to invest or if you are having 10 crore rupees also you are get, getting an opportunity to invest so it provides investment opportunity to both small and big net worth investors correct so see five points it's already in our head what number one it supplies long term capital that's a basic thing okay next provides a ready market for trading of shares and debentures the fourth one is what it provides opportunity it provides opportunities to the investment opportunities to the investors and thereby helps in what capital formation regulated by sebi and it provides investment opportunities to both small and big net worth investors five points five functions already done so this is capital market okay so in the next class we will continue with the remaining functions and we will start capital market we will enter into the capital market instruments okay so thank you class